Hello, and welcome to the engineeringsupplies.co.uk guide to how to easily pick a carbide turning insert using our site. We highly recommend you first watch our carbide turning insert tutorial to get a full understanding of what all the codes mean. However, if you have already watched this or have a fair knowledge, please continue to watch this video. In our carbide turning insert section, we have advanced search functions within the refined search box on the left-hand side of the page. We will explain the drop-downs in order, and these will help round down the choices of the best insert to suit your application. The first drop-down is shape. This isn't entirely accurate, as shape is technically only the first letter. However, for convenience, we've amalgamated the first four letters. Of these, really the only ones you need to concentrate on, are the first two. For instance, if you knew that the holder takes a CCMT insert, any of our insert shapes that start with CC, would fit the pocket angles. All you would need to do is pick the size. The second drop-down is the relief angle. This allows you to select the insert by either, the angle on the side of the insert, or by whether it is held down in the pocket by a clamp or lever system, or by a screw. The third drop-down, edge length. Measure the straight edge on the surface of the insert. We've put the options in millimeters and what the respective ISO code would be for these. Remember, the edge length of an insert with large radius would be measured as if it goes to a sharp point, and a round insert is just the diameter of the insert. The fourth drop-down, thickness. This is a simple measurement of how thick the insert is. The ISO codes don't convert directly to a nominal size. So, to make things easier, we've put what the millimeter size of the insert would be if you had to measure it with a vernier, and what the corresponding ISO code is. The fifth drop-down, radius. The radius is the roundness of the tip of the insert, and is measured in millimeters. Remember, sharp radiuses give better surface finish but are more prone to breaking under pressure, and large radiuses are best for metal removal rates, at the expense of surface finish quality. The sixth drop-down, grade. If you have previously bought from us, or know the grade code you prefer, you can select it directly from this drop-down. If you haven't tried our carbide inserts before, the drop-downs that follow grade will be far more beneficial on helping you get the correct grade for your application. The seventh and eighth drop-down, type or depth of cut, and cut interruption. Usually, the next process would be to select the chip breaker, but due to every manufacturer making their own unique design of chip breaker and code, there is no official standard. For this reason, we've split chip breakers into two drop-downs that cover their purposes. The first is the type or depth of cut, which is essentially the type of operation being done, roughing, medium machining, finishing etc. The second half of the chip breaker selection is the interrupted cut drop-down. This is more about the physical characteristics of the workpiece, and allows you to specify whether the workpiece being machined has interruptions or not. The remaining drop-downs. These relate directly to grade. You can select one or more materials that you require the insert to machine, and it will either add or remove it from the selection on the main display area. We've gone a bit further, and put color codes on all of the insert display images. These codes refer directly to the colored key at the top of the page, and indicate at a glance what materials the insert will cut. For example, a blue box with the letter P in it, shows instantly that you can machine steel with it, orange for superalloys, yellow for stainless, etc. If an insert picture has a box with a star above it, it is excellent for machining that material. If it has a colored box, without a star above it, it is considered good for that material. However, if a material color-coded box is omitted from the insert image, it is not designed for machining that material. We hope this guide has been helpful in selecting the best inserts for you. However, please visit our tool holders and boring bar sections for additional guides that will help you select the correct inserts from our range to fit holders that you may already have.